Riders Conference, ideally situated in beautiful Vermont mountains, in formal atmosphere, advice at once friendly and honest, contacts with other writers, editors, and publishers, provides a stimulating and memorable experience. Oh, I loved your book. It was beautiful. I cried when I read it. And I wish the publishers agreed with you. I think the people who sent it back never even read it. If they have, they've been on their knees begging you to let them publish it. Many people have the impudence to think that everybody wants to hear them sob their sick little souls out on paper. The author of this manuscript, whom I judge as a woman, it's typical of what I mean. Not only she, but many aspiring writers could spend their time to better advantage visiting a psychiatrist. <laughs> I can believe that this author's life is empty. This woman wouldn't know a major emotion if she tripped over it. I'll spare you the painful details of the accountant awaiting the editor's answer. She finally goes to see him. He says, for heaven's sake, woman, stop writing. Go out and live. Let yourself go. He goes out, buys herself a pistol, and comes back and shoots the editor through his cruel heart. <laughs> An editor's life is no bed of roses. We have to plow through some pretty awful stuff day after day. Sometimes I'd like to rip up manuscripts and make the writers responsible for them eat the pieces bit by bit. <laughs> Take the writer of the novel that I discussed this morning. She's probably a wilted little daydreamer who would smolder for years but never ignite. Excuse me. Um, Miss Burroughs. I hope I see you again. Well, I'm sure you will, Mr. Brandisher. I have a feeling we'll be seeing a good deal of each other. Oh. Miss Burroughs. Your door was conveniently unlocked. Did you want to see me? Would I be likely to be here if I didn't? I said the murder, its motivation, and the act itself were, were not convincing that neither the woman nor the editor would do those things. That's right. They wouldn't. Neither of them are in character. A writer can get by with a lot of things, but not with that. Suppose I were to tell you that story actually happened. I wouldn't believe it. Even if I told you I was the woman who killed the editor? Particularly not then. If you had, you wouldn't be here. You'd be in prison. Oh, but you see, they didn't catch me, Mr. Brandisher. Knowing my background, the logical conclusion was for me to commit such an act was simply... Uh, well, not in character. The editor was really the murderer. He took the work I loved and threw it in my face like a piece of trash. And so I shot him. Your imagination, Miss Burroughs, is getting wild in a minute. Anyway, here it is, Mr. Brandisher. I've come to kill you. Are you mad? Put the thing away. Do you go around killing everybody who doesn't like your stories? Not who doesn't like Mr. Brandisher. Who is so insensitive as to laugh at someone else's dreams. Now listen to reason, Miss Burroughs. In that lecture hall, this front of all those people, you tortured me. You reached into my innermost thoughts, tore them out, and held them up wriggling. <laughs>